Okay, tonight we're gonna make some spaghetti and meatballs in the Dutch oven. So what I have here is the 12 inch Dutch oven. And we're gonna cook this about 350 degrees. So I have my briquettes here in my briquette chimney. I'm gonna put about 10 on the bottom. So we'll start with that. Get those tongs. See, there's five. A couple extra. We'll set those right there for now. But what I want is 10 on the bottom. I'm going to put him back. Set the 12 inch Dutch oven there. As you see, there's a little olive oil in there. When I clean them, I just put olive oil in there and let it let it just do its thing and sit there until I cook next time. It keeps it nice and good. But what I have is some two cans of diced tomatoes. So we're gonna put two cans of these diced tomatoes in here. Like this. And then I have a cup of uh, beef broth. We'll add this to it. And then these are just some frozen meatballs you get in your frozen section at the grocery store. It's a pound. So I'm just gonna pour these in here. And what's cool about this, we just add all the ingredients and let it cook and we're good to go. It calls for uh, 12 ounces of spaghetti and this is a 16 ounce package. So we're just gonna kinda do this in a, in a spill in a couple. But we want to break these in half. Like so, let's get a little more out of here. Maybe the squirrels will like those. We'll put this, but right there. And then it calls for three garlic cloves. So I just have some crushed garlic here that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna get, get about three spoons about that size and put in here. There's that. Just set that here. And then I have uh, some spices. I have a teaspoon of crushed red peppers, uh, two teaspoons of oregano, and a tablespoon of basil, and I already have it here in the in the bowl. I'll we'll just kind of sprinkle this in here, and then we'll see how this goes, like this. Just wanted to get all those ingredients in there. And then I have more beef broth here. So what I'm gonna do now is just pour beef broth over here until the spaghetti noodles are pretty much submerged in here. We'll do that. I think I'll just put that whole container in there like so. And then let's give it a stir, kind of soak them noodles down in there. And I'm going to cook this for about 20 minutes at 350. And then we'll see how it's going. So I have 10, 10 briquettes on the bottom. And at 350 is an easy heat to gauge off your Dutch oven. This is a 12 inch Dutch oven. So at 350, you just minus two from the 12, so 10 on the bottom. And then we're gonna do 14 on top. So you add two onto the top. So there's seven. There's seven. Let's see, where's my tongs? Right there. Uh. We'll get these, just kind of even this out. And we're just gonna let this do its thing. 
And I'm going to throw this extra one on here just for fun. But we're going to let this cook like it is for about 20 minutes. We'll check and see how it's going from there and decide, uh, decide what we want to do from there. So we'll see you back shortly. All right, it's been 20 minutes, so let's see how this spaghetti and meatballs is turning out here. Kind of lift the lid here. Okay, it's not quite boiling yet. Let's stir this up a little bit. It smells awesome. Going off this, I'm thinking about another 10 minutes and I might load a couple more briquettes on here. We're camping, we're about 8,000 feet above sea level, so maybe the elevation has something to do with it. But it's awesome, we're just sitting here and we got the, the spaghetti going, we're just sitting here and all of a sudden these two deer come flying down the hill and they look at us like, what are you guys doing? But yeah, look, it's steaming good, but pretty much this spaghetti, just need to warm it up and we need to get these noodles done. So we're going to do like 10 more minutes and I have my spare briquettes right there. I decided to put them there because when they're in the chimney, they burn down so quick. So let's just kind of do this for fun and we'll do two. Let's shove a couple under there. The Dutch oven is very forgiving. It's very hard to burn something in the Dutch oven. So. We'll just let that cook there for another 10 minutes and I think we should be good to go. We'll check it and then we're going to get some garlic bread going and the, the meal will be ready. So we'll see you back shortly. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. It smells awesome. We're sitting here by this fire. You can just smell all these spices coming out and stuff. So let's check and see how this spaghetti's doing. Oh, baby. Look at this. That looks delicious. So this Dutch oven spaghetti, it looks a little runny, but you need all the, the liquid in here to do the one, the one batch stuff so these noodles cook, but oh man, this is delicious. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the lid back on and then we have some garlic bread here. So what I did is slice some garlic bread and I just wrapped it in tin foil. And I'm just gonna set this right on top of the Dutch oven to heat that up. We'll give that about five minutes and the meal should be ready to go. So we'll see you back shortly. Okay, we're back. We should be good here. It's getting dark here. So I got the lantern going here, but let's get this bread off. Just kind of set this here. Let's take the, take a look and see how this is doing here. Oh yeah, look at that. That is sweet. See that bubbling in there? Oh, that's perfect. So let's dish this up. All those noodles are awesome. Get a couple more meatballs there. I think I dumped one on the ground. Nope. <laughs> yep. Nope. Yeah, it's right by the lantern. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. <sighs> so we do that. I'm gonna need to use this bench for a table. So what we have here, get a little Parmesan cheese. Is the light any good over here? Perfect. All right, let's do that. Put a little Parmesan cheese, and then here's, the, look at this. Look at this garlic bread. I just set this on top of the Dutch oven. That is sweet. Just cut that up. So, here you have it. Dutch oven spaghetti cooked in the mountains. It got dark a little bit, but it's still yummy. So, and garlic bread. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.
Okay, this is the bonus clip, but these this turned out so awesome. Look at this all steamy. The noodles are just perfect. But look at that. Awesome. Mmm. Yummy.